This is a short video about the Interact computer and it's this is especially about the graphics um, that were available in 1982. There was no uh, high-res graphics then so what people would do is use some of the character graphics to program to make into new symbols. I'll just show you roughly what it was like. Right, this program will pick up any uh, programmable graphics files and enable them to be worked on. So if we have a look at the chess one, this shows a chess set made up of different graphics and by looking at the castle the top of the screen shows part of the castle up there which is each so it's made up of four graphics so you have the top left top right bottom right bottom left so if we look at this one and we want to change it that expands just this portion we're interested in and I'll add, say, a flag on top of the castle. Uh, oh, there it is. Just by, by setting or resetting, the, the actual graphic on the screen gets changed as you work on it. So there it is, set. Also, if you want to look at the screen underneath this window can be moved across left or right of the screen so if I push it over to the left you can see the other castle that's on the chessboard there that's been changed as well at the same time so you could leave it like that but probably wouldn't want to leave it like that permanently um, but by going back you can just reset reset everything and change that graphic back to how it was Okay, that's it. So that's the chessboard. So if we leave that program now, the next bit of software will display all of the programmable graphics that are on this particular drive that we're looking at at the moment. And by picking up there, that's the first graphic. You can move along, have a look at the next one. That's a um, program which you would test an IC, the 16 pin or 14 pin. Just You can just change that, which changes the picture of the... OK, we'll just have a look at the jetpack now, which is... You know, this, this shows, this is just a, jet, a jetpack program and uh, there's more graphics uh, than this on it I need to those are for instance all the programmable graphics that are being used with this program so you see the various ones that actually make up the figure so if I jump out of that uh, go on to the jetpack This is how it looks when it's actually going. This is only a, just shows the basic person walking along, walking backwards. Walking again, and if he using his jetpack up in the air and floats back down gravity. There we are, go up again. Um, and if he walks off the end of the screen, he just comes back on the other side with this thing. Next one is, that's just a menu, picture of a menu, that's a Star Trek uh, for a Star Trek game. And this last one's uh, a train that can travel from A to B along the train track there. And if after this has been made up, it can be animated. So this, this, is, this is now the actual um, programmable graphic data, but if we jump out of this and go on to the animation program uh, 
Here is the same train and rails, but just showing it running along. Travelling from A to B and back from B to A. And this shows how the, the foreground graphics are kind of overlapping the background graphics. But there's not, there's not any separate layers of graphics. This is just the Z80 blanking out the back and keeping the foreground in, in, uh, in prominence there. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. Goodbye.